Gleason was a mining community, had about 1,500 people. Not all of them were miners, but the majority of were uh, miners here. It was uh, discovered because there was turquoise here. John Gleason, being a mining engineer, he knew where you found turquoise, you found copper. And he mined uh, copper, silver, gold, and some turquoise. This was my dad's uh, store slash uh, saloon. I lived here for five or six years when I was a youngster. Uh, we lived on the backside. We didn't have uh, running water or electricity at the time. All we used was the kerosene lamps. So we did what we could. A lot of good memories, people uh, coming up, you know, and uh, they used to ride their horses up here and uh, park them out here in front and I'd be playing out in front and it, it was a good time. It's very strange to see it because back when I was here, living here, when I was younger, there was people everywhere. You could go every part of town, you know, and visit the store, visit the Chinese restaurant. It had a theater, had a post office. So there was a lot of mingling with people, just different uh, groups of people out here. My dad came from Italy. And my mom came from Mexico. And I always say I was raised under both beautiful cultures because of the food and uh, knowing how to speak the languages. It was great. I come through because my uncle's buried at the cemetery and I'll stop by and uh, take care of his grave. And I happened to see a for sale sign in the area and uh, I actually had to turn around and come back and get the phone number and call the lady that was selling it. I told her who I was and she asked if I was from the original Bono family that lived here and I told her yeah and she says, we gotta talk. So that's how I acquired it actually. just brought back all these uh, memories of uh, the Gleason and its heydays and all the people that lived here. And of course, I lived here, so I, I just had to come by it. <laughs> and this is the Gleason Jail Museum that I maintain and keep up as much as I can. This is uh, where they used to hold the prisoners here in Gleason Jail when it was getting too rowdy. Glad I did it because my grandkids are enjoying it now and people come out and uh, they get to enjoy what used to be, you know. And it's nice and quiet, peaceful, and, and people just love it. Yeah, I mean, they grew up here, you know. My dad had the saloon store over there, and the rest is history. My dad came from Italy when he was 15 years old. It's always good to hear your family yes. history. Yeah. It's always nice to know what your grandparents, great-grandparents did to make you, to raise you, what they had to go through to get where they are now. My dad had uh, this calendar inside the store and uh, it had a little calendar down here and a thermometer on there that was always in the store and gave the Joe Bono uh, general merchandise store. And you were the model? Yes, I, I, I modeled for that. <laughs> My mom 
She used to go help the miners pick these pebbles out of their eyes. I guess she only, she was the only one that had tweezers in town. So they would call her at night when they got off work. And I, I would take the lantern and hold the lantern for her over the people so she could see and pick out these things. And these miners would be screaming and, and I'd be all nervous and shaken because they're screaming it, you know. But I, I was the one that had to have, hold the light for her. How old were you? I was about uh, six, seven years old at the time. And uh, for me to be able to hold the light, you know, it was very scary. It's amazing to me because some of the people that are in his life, I've come across them as their great grandchildren and seeing some of the photos is amazing because the grand great grandparents look like some of my classmates that that I think was the most amazing part for me that I in some way know these people through their generations after them I, I think it's really cool that Joe and, and the folks that own this and they're out that are keeping us alive are, are, are doing that for nothing except more to, they, to keep that, that memory alive and see the history of this little tiny corner of America is, is pretty cool to me and it, it makes it even more uh, endearing to my heart. I'm 100% proud of him with everything he's done. You know, I wasn't really interested in this place when I was a teenager and now that I'm a little bit older I am here 100% of the time helping him letting him take a break from the tours and giving them myself so he doesn't have to worry about it. For my kids I'm definitely gonna bring them out here they will definitely know exactly where they came from. I've thought about uh, uh, my final resting place here in Gleason because it's always been a joy for me. It was a great place growing up. I'm sure, I'm hoping that it's a great place to lay down in and enjoy it too. I love it.